Today I want to hit you with a quick tip for how we remove light sources from reflective surfaces in Unreal Engine and we're going to be using the Octane plugin for this. So if any of you are new to the Octane plugin I recommend you check out this playlist first. So here we are in the engine and as you can see I've got a billboard down here and what you might do with anything that gives off an emissive light is you don't necessarily want to crank up the emission too high. A, you can lose texture detail, but most of all, you can introduce noise. So what you'll often do is you'll have the emissive material and then you will add light sources to emulate the emission. This would obviously be quite a large light source, so I've created a large rectangular light. Hence the problem, it's really large. <laughs> so we look at the, oh, there it is. In the reflection, a really large light panel. <laughs> well, it's just so, so big it's going to be distracting uh, in any render from Path Tracer. When light sources are fairly small, you can definitely get away with it. So, for instance, I have these little emissive street lights. Uh, they're emissive material again, and then you've got a little light underneath. And if you look in the reflection, there they are. Little glowing orbs, uh, which, you know, isn't what you really want, but they're small enough to just about get away with it, I think. So fixing this, well, you can't in Unreal's Path Tracer. Uh, you can in Lumen, you can hide light sources using Lumen, but I'm currently not using that. And I detail some of the reasons why in this video. Now let's load the Octane plugin and see how to remove these using that software. Okay, so Octane's loaded. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the render target and we're gonna set it off to render to start with. I'm gonna make sure just to start with that my medium fog, because I always use some of Octane's fog, is turned off for the moment, just for this first render. Let's click that big render button. So Octane's rendering that and you can already see that light is visible in the reflection. So how do we fix it? You go to the light itself, I've already got it selected. Go to the specular scale. It's currently set to one, if you set it to, of course, zero then that reflection is now gone. It's exactly the same way to control it within, say, Lumen or any ray traced scenes that you're using, and that works the same in Octane. But it's not that simple, because it never is. I discovered recently that my scenes were having these lights showing up again, and I wasn't sure what was causing it. And it was all down to the fog I had set up in the scene. So I'm going to turn my fog back on, and we're going to see how that affects what we can see here. Do you know what? I'm going to set the fog to something a little bit lower, 0 0.005. But there it is. The light is definitely showing up in that reflection. So for some reason it works without the fog. With the fog it causes a problem. How do we fix it? We go to the volume step length. So this is how far the rays travel through your scene. Uh, and. I've currently got it set to something rather reasonable, I think. Um, but I found pushing this number up quite high removes the issue. It may cause some limitations depending on what you're trying to achieve here, but I haven't noticed it being much of a problem. So I'm going to set my volume step length to 2000. <laughs> Maybe the problems. Still, it's, it's more faint, it's more faint. Let's, let's go higher, 3000. So that fixes the problem. I'm really glad that we can continue to use fog in our renders because it creates just beautiful depth. Thanks for joining me on this quick tip. I really hope it was useful. And if it was, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are enjoying this content and it's something you wanna see more of, pop a comment below, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one.